Well, having looked at the binomial distribution, let's take a look at computing a probability using the Poisson distribution. So let me pick out a problem here to look at. Uh, so let's go to section 5.5, five, page 238, and we'll do problem 10. Now let's take a look at it. It says a newborn baby is considered to have low birth weight if it weighs less than 2,500 grams. Such babies often require extra care. Dutchess County, New York has been experiencing a mean of 210 cases of low birth weight each year. So in part A it says find the mean number of low birth weight babies born each day. Now we're talking about this county here. So let's start that out now. So what we're looking for is the mean for the Poisson distribution. We use this Greek letter lambda. And just to remind us what that is, that's going to be the uh, probability of success divided by the number of trials. So uh, here we want to take, what, 210, the number of successes of low birth weight babies, over, what, 365, the number of days in a year. So if we go ahead and compute that, 210 divided by 365, we get our mean, uh, which is also our parameter lambda for the Poisson distribution of 0.575. All right, so let, that takes care of part A. Let's take a look at part B now. Uh, it says there to find the probability that on a given day there are more there is more than one baby born with low birth weight. Well, so think we want to find the probability that uh, uh, more than one, that means what, two or more, right? So we want to find the probability of two or three or four or five, you know, so that could, that could be a lot. That could be a lot of computing. So let's take a look at a different way to, to take a look at it. So for part B, we need The probability that our uh, Poisson random variable x is more than 1. So another way to look at it is by the complement. We can compute 1 minus uh, the probability that our binomial, uh, excuse me, our Poisson random variable is less than or equal to 1. So think of what that would be. That would be 1 minus the sum that our probability, uh, our, uh, probability value is 0, plus the probability that it is 1. So let's go ahead and start to compute that. Now, let's just take a look at the first one here, the probability of 0. Now think of what that means for our Poisson uh, probability distribution function. Remember, that's what? Lambda to the x e to the minus lambda over x factorial. So to compute p of 0, that would be, remember lambda is 0.575, we'll raise that to the 0 power, times e to the minus 0.575, that's lambda, over 0 factorial. Let's, let's go ahead and compute this here, just to, so you know how to do it. Let me grab my calculator, and First, we'll just start some parentheses because we have more than one factor in the numerator, 0.575. We're going to raise that to the zero power. Multiply that by, now to get e, you want to take this natural log key and hit the second key and then hit that natural log key. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, uh, the screen history to see that. We hit the second key and the natural log key to do that. So, and we also need to be a little bit careful on the sign here. Since we're leading with a negative sign, we want to use the negative sign right by the decimal point and not the minus sign. So you notice how that the, the minus sign is a little bit shorter here. 0.575. Okay, that takes care of our closing our um, exponent. And now we'll close the numerator. Divided by, now we need zero factorial. So here's how we get a factorial. First we'll put in zero and then hit the math key, go over to the probability menu, and notice option 4 is an exclamation point for the, um, for the uh, factorial. So when we compute that, 
we end up with point what five six three all right so let's make note of that point five six three now let me show you another way to compute the probability with the binomial distribution uh, excuse me the Poisson distribution um, we want to use that distribution menu like we did before with the binomial random variables so we'll hit the second key the VARS button and now if we scroll down here past the binomial distribution you see the uh, um, option C is the Poisson probability density function. That's what we want. We'll just hit the enter key there. We'll put in lambda 0.575 and then a comma. And we want the probability that our x value is 1. So we'll enter that. And so we get point, uh, 0.324, right? 0.324. So let's make a note of that. P of 1 is 0.324. So the probability then that our binomial random variable is going to be greater than 1, think of what we have up here. It's going to be 1 minus the sum of 0.563 plus 0.324. So let's go ahead and, and compute that. All right, so 1 minus, and then start some parentheses, 0.563 plus 0.324. So we get 0.113 then for our result. Now, so that's what, uh, about 11% uh, chance then. Now notice here, now in the textbook, you, your answer might be like 0.114 or 0.112, but don't worry about that. That's just some of the rounding that occurs. That's the difference between when you use the technology or maybe you use the table in the back of the book. So don't worry about that. There's certainly no kind of point deduction for that. You know, we're looking at your work. Uh, so, uh, uh, so it looks like there's about, what, an 11% chance. Now let's take a look at number uh, part C real quick and finish it off. Part C says, is it unusual to have more than one low birth weight baby born in a day? Why or why not? Well, by looking at the results here, it looks like the uh, for part C that the answer is no, since uh, the probability of x being bigger than 1, which is 0.113, is not really small. Uh, uh, Trioli says uh, if it's under if it's under 5%, it could be unusual. If it's under 1%, it's certainly unusual. So that those are the guidelines you can kind of uh, 